Hi, this is Steve Sokol with Falcon Avionics, and we're here today at AirVenture 2023 to introduce a number of new products, including a whole new line of FlightView hardware. FlightView is an EFIS, so it's effectively similar to, well, the, all the sorts of things you'd normally find in an experimental airplane with a modern glass cockpit. We just do it a little bit differently. Our front end, the display portion, uh, is actually done using iPads rather than uh, a bespoke display system. Uh, the rest of the system sort of lives behind the panel, as you might expect, and it's made up of a series of sensors, computers, and uh, you know, other components that all feed data through what we call our flight data computer to the display systems. And the displays kind of can, then can control remotely, you know, autopilots, uh, transponders, comm radios, um, and it gives you a complete view of your aircraft from uh, engine monitoring, to you know, situational awareness, GPS, and ADS-B, um, and on to, uh, to, to cover you know, even you know, uh, advanced integration with uh, certified navigators now. So the FDC, which is all new this year, this is our uh, V3, third uh, generation product, uh, is now a completely bespoke system built from an industrial compute module um, and sporting a lot of native onboard I.O. So we have uh, nine RS-232 ports, two RS-485 ports, uh, two CAN bus interfaces, USB, uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, Ethernet. Uh, probably something else in there too. Oh, plus the ADS-BN. So what you're seeing right now is our primary flight display display. Uh, we've got you know, all of the things you'd expect, the normal speed and uh, altitude tapes, we have an inset uh, mini moving map, so if you want to have just this and no separate MFD, you'll still be able to see traffic and some of the additional information. Across the bottom, you see our uh, EMS display, so our, our engine bar. We also have a, uh, a half-screen EMS display that we can bring up. So if you want to, to see a bigger view for doing something like leaning, you also then have access to the lean controls and stuff from the screen. So returning back to the main screen, um, you've got a few things here. This is navigation information coming down the side, and when we start talking about our integration with uh, certified navigators, it will show the info from the certified navigator, but if you're using the onboard VFR navigation capabilities, that also will show up in this position. Uh, across the bottom, you see uh, the button bar, and the button bar is what gives you access to all of the subscreens, the additional screens that are built into this. So I can press a button and bring up our autopilot screen, turn the autopilot on, switch modes for it. Uh, I can also come back in here, go to transponder, and adjust your transponder settings. And you'll notice that all the while, we do keep whatever you've declared to be the primary function for this screen up on the screen and available. Uh, we can also come back over here. We have remote control for comm radios. This guy across the bottom, by the way, is our flight bar. The flight bar is a Bluetooth remote controller for the whole system. That integrates with this, which is our flight dock. Uh, flight dock is a mounting system and also a cooling system for iPads, because if there's one thing that iPads are subject to, it's heat issues. And in just a minute, I'll actually show you the, uh, the cool new thing that we have behind that. Literally cool. So, um, for navigation, if you are using our onboard navigation or using um, the integration with a, a third-party navigator, you can bring up a navigation you know, flight plan and manually edit that. You can also edit it on the MFD screens, um, and you can edit it by way of uh, you know, uh, drag and drop that way. So. so that's the basic overview of the system. I mean, it does all of the things you'd expect. We've got a fuel totalizer built into it. We have you know, um, you know, uh, terrain uh, information. So it'll, it'll display a terrain profile in the PFD view and show you how close you are to running into a mountain. Um, you know, it's got alerting system built in for almost everything that you'd want to know about. So that's the, the basics of the system. This is the Falcon Tech or thermoelectric cooler. Uh, it's basically just that. It uses what's called the Peltier effect to move heat from one side to the other and out through a, uh, a heat sink. Um, and this actually replaces the fan if you want to go for the upgrade uh, that we normally ship with our flight dock product. This fits through a uh, two and an uh, eighth inch instrument hole and mounts up against the back of the iPad, keeping it cool in even Texas and Arizona summer temperatures. So the flight data computer, which is this guy right here, is the heart of the FlightView system. 
It serves as the hub that routes data between all the different components, and it's also got a lot of built-in capabilities. The AHARS lives here, the ADSB receivers live here, um, and also the, uh, the built-in navigation system for VFR. It also controls all of the drivers for integrating third-party components. So as you can see, we've got down here a bunch of lines that come out and go around to different uh, components, including transponders, autopilots, uh, air ink adapter that takes us to uh, a certified navigator, etc. There is now, as I said, a whole bunch more I.O. available on this, all in native formats, so no more adapters required. Um, We've got a lot of capability built into it in terms of uh, the ADS-B. It's, it's a full dual-band ADS-B receiver. Um, we forward that information to the, our displays, but we also make it available to anybody's uh, EFB application over Wi-Fi. Now, we also have an Ethernet connection on here, which we use to connect to the first display. So you have one hardwired display always. If you want additional hardwired displays, you can put an Ethernet switch in, but most people simply opt to connect the additional displays by, uh, by Wi-Fi. A few of the new things, that, the other new things that we have coming out, uh, we've actually built our own um, externally mounted uh, GPS receiver. Previously, the only option that we had was a dashboard puck, basically. And now we've actually got something that mounts through the, uh, the, the dorsal skin of your airplane with a doubler and you know, acts like a, a true aviation GPS. Uh, we also, here's our Air Inc. For, uh, 429 adapter. And that's what allows you to talk to certified navigation systems. So things from Garmin or Avidyne. Uh, and that, of course, is what forwards through. Down here you can see RS-232 coming into this. Over here we've got a couple of our partner products. Uh, we in can integrate with and have kits uh, for the Trig TT-22 transponder, the uh, Trig TY-91 comm radio, and also, I, I don't have it on the board here, uh, the UAvionics uh, Tail Beacon X transponder. And then over on the other side, and this is our engine monitor. So as you can see, just like our newest um, you know, FDC has a you know, milled aluminum case, we've done the same thing for our uh, engine monitor. Um, both of these are fanless, operate in almost any condition you can imagine, and we've now adapted to using standard aviation grade connectors. The new product line is on its way. We plan to begin shipping uh, the two main components, the FDC and the EMS, uh, in about six weeks. The uh, uh, Airink 429 adapter is a little bit further behind. It'll probably be November before that ships. But uh, we'll have everything available for order on our website uh, by the time you see this video. The single screen ready to fly system uh, retails for $4,000. The dual screen is $5,000. And if you want a triple screen, we can do that too at $6,000. For more information, go to falconavionics.com. <laughs>